okay so i hope the recording has started so today the question we have here as you might have seen in the thumbnail as well is uh, on how to basically will tell us how we can solve the problems involving partial differentiation of uh, higher order okay so basically we'll just start with it okay so we will write the question here first so the question says that uh, we have a function u u mostly is a function of x and y both so it's x square plus y square log okay and we have to prove basically daba u daba square u divided by daba x into daba y is equal to daba square u by daba y by daba x okay so to prove this i will find this separately this term which you are seeing and this separately which you are seeing so the, wait a second this is daba y here okay this term which you are seeing separately here okay so let me divide the page into two halves okay so here i go so first we'll uh, understand what's the meaning of uh daba square u daba x daba y so this basically means that you first find uh, daba u by daba y okay you first differentiate partially differentiate the u with respect to y and then you take whatever you get you take it as a term and differentiate with respect to x like double differentiation which we learned earlier uh, in our uh, highest uh, in our uh, 11th and 12th stand 11th and 12th grade uh, what we are doing here is we are actually doing differentiating it two times but with respect to different variables first we are here differentiating with respect to y and then we are differentiating the, with respect to x so that's why uh, these terms are different because here first you di uh, different partially differentiate with respect to y and here you first partially differentiate with respect to x that's why it's different okay so for now we'll just shorten it a bit okay no i think i can adjust it here and here we will have daba square u daba y daba x okay so first just like that we will differentiate partial differentiate u with respect to x with the which is the variable here and then we will differentiate it with respect to y okay we will uh, differentiate with res uh, with respect to x partially differentiate with respect to x and whatever we get we will differentiate it uh, partially differentiate it with respect to y okay so let's go so first let's solve this part so first we will find uh daba u by daba y so i will just type here uh partially differentiating differentiating u with respect to y okay so first we are doing that okay so what we get here is that du by dy 
so while we are partially differentiating the any function with respect to y we will take x as a constant means whenever it's time to differentiate it with x respect to y we will write zero okay so first on differentiating this part we will apply chain rule so on differentiating this we will get 1 by whatever the term is here x square plus y square okay which is the basic differentiation of logarithmic function and then since it was not a pure function of y we will differentiate this term separately x square plus y square we will differentiate it with respect to y okay and since we are differentiating it with respect to y the x term will become 0 and the y term will become 2y okay so what do we have here is uh, 2y by x square plus y square okay now all we need to do is what we got here let's call it uh, since we are differentiating u with respect to y let's call it ui and often you might be uh, might be seeing that you get ui or ux which basically denotes this thing da by u by da by y okay so now we will differentiate ui with respect to x okay ui with respect to x so since we are differentiating with respect to x now every term involving uh, y uh, ev every y term will act as a constant so this 2y will come out and we will have to differentiate 1 by x square plus y square so we know if we differentiate x square plus y square simply we will apply that formula that we will bring n in the for front and then we write x n minus 1 like that so since here the power of x square plus y square is uh, minus 1 uh, and we subtract so we will get here minus sign here and x square plus y square minus 2 and since it was not a completely pure function of x we will differentiate this separately as a part of chain rule and we get 2x and y square will become 0 since it's uh, we are differentiating with respect to x now okay so this is what you have when you say uh, daba square u divided by daba x into daba y okay okay so now let's just find the other part which is d square u dy by dx uh, d square u dy and dx okay so basically like the other one this means that you first find uh, daba u by daba x and whatever you get here as a result then differentiate partially differentiate it with respect to y okay so i will just write uh we'll copy this text up here and just paste it here Control v and just write x okay now what you need to do is that we will write uh daba u by daba x so simply we will just differentiate log x square plus y square with respect to x which will 1 by x square plus y square and then differentiating this term with respect to x we will get 2x okay uh, wait a sec I think okay it's all right it's all right okay okay and there's a minus sign here just don't forget that so we will get here uh, 2x by x square plus y square okay
mm -hmm. okay so now we will just put up uh, d by dy and we have here du daba u by daba x or like we did before we will just uh, name it as ux and then we will do it here daba ux means the whatever term we got from there and daba y okay so now uh, let's just uh, differentiate it so since we are partially differentiating it with respect to y so this term 2x will come outside okay you don't need to apply the uv rule here and then we will have x square plus y square and their power which was initially minus 1 will come forward and their power will be subtracted by 1 which is minus 2 and we will have here 2y okay so as you could see in both the sides we are having 4xy as they will multiply uh, and give us 4xy so I will write here that uh, daba square u uh, dx dy is equal to daba square u daba y daba x is equal to I will write minus 4xy divided by x square plus y square by 2 okay so this was minus 2y so i brought it in the denominator and i multiplied 2x and 2y in both cases and hence we got here and since we have proved something right hence proved and most importantly for me i will draw something yeah Okay, so I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.